Thank you for visiting Utique Bridal. This is a simple tutorial on how to lengthen your tie by adding fabric to the center of the tie. So here are the ordinaries you will need in order to complete this project. If you need more time, feel free to press pause and review the list. For this tutorial, I am using a 60 inch tie. For the first step, I am going to fold the tie in half and then cut it at the halfway mark. Take one end of the tie, either end is fine, slide it along the second tie and find the matching width. Once you find the matching width, pin the tie. Using the measuring tape, add the amount of length you would like to add to the tie. Here I'm going to add 4 inches. Add 1 inch to each end and then cut. Next take the main tie and open up the seams up about 2 inches and then fold the inner facing up. We are now going to remove the pins from the second tie. Lay the main tie with the right side of the fabric facing up and make sure the interfacing is folded down. Next, remove the interfacing from the second tie and lay it onto the main tie with the right sides of the fabrics facing each other. Sew it together with a half inch seam allowance. Using your iron, press the seam open and then refold the tie using the original folds as your guide. And now iron press the tie. Open up the new end of the tie and lay it flat. Take the remaining end of the main tie and open that up with right sides of the fabrics facing each other. You're going to sew that with a half inch seam allowance. Press the seam open and then again fold it at the original folding lines and press. Now with the remaining interfacing piece, you're going to repeat the same process we used to connect the fabric portion of the tie. You're just going to pin and sew with a half inch seam allowance and repeat it for the other end. After you have sewn the interfacing together, press the seams open and if needed, feel free to trim off any excess interfacing. Now refold the tie and we are ready to sew the opening of the tie closed. To start out, knot one end of the thread and then start at one end of the tie and do several stitches to secure it. Now we will start doing the blind hem stitch. First you're going to tunnel the needle through the top layer of the tie fabric. Then do a quick catch stitch to the bottom fabric. Tunnel and then do a quick catch stitch. Tunnel and do a quick catch stitch. Tunnel and a quick catch stitch. You will repeat this process until you get to the other end of the tie. And now that you're at the end, you're going to do several stitches to secure it. Finally, cut off the excess thread and you are now complete. You have lengthened a 60 inch tie to a 64 inch tie. Well, thank you for visiting. I hope you got inspired to create something extraordinary out of the ordinary. If you would like to learn how to tie the Eldridge knot, please click on the image. If you would like to view the Trinity Knot or view other gentleman tutorials, please click on one of the gold glitter buttons.